John. It's a pleasure to meet you. you too. Hey, how are you? Congratulations on this project. It's so good. And I mean, the cast is top notch. My question for you would be, when creating a project like this, having watched it, there seems to be some nods. Maybe it's just me going, hey, this, this is cool. This is fun. When you're writing this, this question is for both of you. What is the process to sit down and create something like this that is so different and so unique than what we may have seen in the past? Well, when we started, uh, we, you know, right after we came up with the idea, we re quickly realized we have to figure out the entire season just to write the first episode. Uh, so uh, we, we really had to sit down and, uh, and, and basically plot you know, outline eight episodes of television um, before we could really write the first one. And um, and then we were lucky enough to, you know, say to the network, please, you know, you gotta buy the whole season. You know, we can't just shoot a pilot and wait because we, we have to figure all this out. So we wrote all the scripts before we started shooting and that enabled us to shoot it uh, efficiently enough uh, on a TV budget uh, and let it be as complicated as it is. I've been a fan of both you. I'm interested to know when you are sitting down to create a series like this, you've alluded to it in previous answers here, but what are some of the challenges that you face as a storyteller, as a creative, again, to keep things moving and perhaps maybe, not that you've done this, but maybe replicate something that's been done in the past, if that makes sense. Because it's so smartly written, it's just, I mean, I cannot wait for people to watch this. Oh, great. Well, thank you. Um, yeah, you, you know, the the thing that you have to be uh, aware of with a show like this, it's sort of like when you come from the comedy world, you, you're, you're, you're like, oh, well, we come up with this great characters, great scenarios, we'll get in there and we'll improv with the actors. And, uh, and the actors are like so much of the stuff that uh, in, in our comedies that people love has stuff that came up on set or came up in the writers in the room with the writer and you know that kind of stuff, but this is like you're you have you ha this story is very set, and so actors will come up to you and go, God, I just don't feel like my character will say would say this, or the cameraman will say, the d director of photography will say, I, I feel like I want to change the coverage of the scene, and you're like. No, you, you can't. <laughs> you can't do that. We have to stick to the plan, you know. The plan. And that's actually a reoccurring thing in the show. Actually, the uh, Charles Dance is going to say, "Stick to the plan," and uh, and th and that's the thing about these sort of genres. Because you want a satisfying story at the end of the season. You want them to walk away after episode eight, and just say, "Wow, that all, all the pieces, all the confluences came together." And uh, all the all the rivers came to the confluence. I guess is <laughs> not them butchering that metaphor, uh, <laughs> but uh, you know. And so so you have to be a little bit more um, rigid, I guess. Is the you know. Thank yeah. you. But did you have Kiefer in mind when you were putting this together? <laughs> I'm yes. not going to hold it. This is you know. I think people are just curious because he seems like the perfect fit. I mean, the entire cast is, but Kiefer sure. Absolutely, he was. Uh, we actually wrote it for him. We uh, we we have a we share an agent, and um, um, our agent said that Kiefer was men she mentioned that Kiefer was looking for something, and we were like, we had this idea that we were toying with, very basic, and um, and we're like, well, he'd be perfect for this, just like you're saying, you know, <laughs> and and, uh, uh, and so we wrote it with him in mind um, because he's a guy you trust. But he's also a guy that you believe is a yeah, man of action and a man of, that you know uh, is competent and uh, all these things. Um, and then we also got to see this other side of him that you don't normally get to see, which is you know a little lighter and uh, a little more fun. Wink, wink. We'll have to get you all on the Twenty Four reboot. <laughs> I'm yeah, yeah. You, you, you did a good job. Thank you. All right. Thank you. And I'm not leading the witness here.